Hello, guys. Good afternoon to you. Happy Saturday. Um, I just like to thank you yesterday for uh, watching all the videos that I posted. Um, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for everybody that I, um, that supported me behind this. Like, thank you everybody for that. Coming at you live with another book review. Uh, except this time, did it on kill. I'm doing mine on Killing Lincoln by Bill O'Reilly. This is a book I read about. Uh, 2012, so I don't know, it was like six, seven years ago. And this book is another book that my, that I admire about the Civil War. And it talks about the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. And what I like about what Bill O'Reilly does with it is that he puts things in events in order so that it leads up to the assassination. So instead of just going through it like an all um, typical history book he does, he makes it more suspenseful. He makes it more at stake um he also for example he talks about when a when lincoln goes to the front lines in virginia to see the last stages of a battle so that he could finally see the war end and then he also goes in detail about how he goes into richmond virginia to see the, the former city that is now being conquered by the union by the union armies and by grant and also puts in the context of john wilkes booth's john wilkes booth's um, pure hatred for him. Uh, he believed that the South still had a fighting chance, even though Robert E. Lee surrendered at that point. Um, and Bill O'Reilly does this in very spectacular fashion. He does a great job of flowing in all these, all the historical characters that interplay with his plan, especially, um, Samuel Payne, I believe it was, George Atzerodt, and all the other people involved in the Lincoln assassination plot. Um, first off, he does it in a very, um, he writes it like a novel, a novel, especially, and, uh, he mainly does it in a way that you feel like you're in the moment. It feels like you're there in Ford Cedar watching John Wilkes Booth kill him. Um, and he also does an exact point when he writes the climax of the book is when the assassination takes place. And talks about the politics as well behind John Wilkes Booth's uh, motives for for assassinating Abraham Lincoln, and it's a very well thought out book. And just like yesterday with the Grant book, I'm going to show you really cool details. If you can see here, seeing the camera, he has he used a lot of pictures, he used a lot of writings, and he also just essentially just uses a lot of writing. In a very structured format, he includes pictures with visual aid of, of when these events took place. And I remember um, how he puts every event in each place by interjecting the events that Lincoln and Booth were interjecting at the time. So it's very, it's a very well thought out, detailed book. And it's very, it's very suspenseful as well because, you, you know, for if, because especially if your people are new to it. Um, you're in for quite a surprise because it goes like quickly, 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 quickly. You know, for example, it goes Friday, April 14th, 1865, Washington, D.C., 2 p.m. The next chapter shows a little detailed map. So you can see how Bill O'Reilly did it. He did it in really good historical fashion with historical accuracy. Did a very good job on that. You see here, this is a map of Washington at the time of the assassination, where John Wilkes Booth was going where Lincoln was going, where other people were doing at the time. And then, the next chapter, for example, again, Friday, April 14th, 7 p.m., all of this climaxes uh, into, into the assassination of this man who's considered our greatest president. So, it's a very great and interesting book. I really, I also, that's another book I suggest you to, and also check out his other uh, killing series. Uh, I just downloaded uh, the killing the the Jap uh, you know not the Japanese, killing the rising sun, uh, which talks about um, the Pacific Theater World War II, how the United States defeated the Japanese, and I also just bought the new book Killing England, which talks about the Revolutionary War. So I'm very excited to check those out if I have time, obviously. <laughs> and so I really suggest you guys uh, get this read this book too because it also brings in a conjecture. Of Abraham Lincoln's character, um, uh, John Wilkes' character, and also Mary Surratt, who was the first woman to be executed by the federal government. So it's a very, 
It's a very complex uh, book, but at the same time, very knowledgeable. You learn a whole lot about that event. It shows you how people felt during the event. You could feel the event. I, I, when I read it, I felt I could, I felt like I could understand why, how people, um, were impacted by this event, how tragic it was. Because remember, this is the first time that a president has been assassinated in the United States in the United States history. Um, other presidents have been assassinated, but people said that this assassination was the one that shocked me the most. This was the first time that uh, a president was assassinated. So it's very, very, very interesting that when you look at this historical narrative of books today, because many people, don't get me wrong, I love detailed books, but sometimes there are days where I just want to want to read just, you know, just a little detailed, uh, hold on a second. Okay, something was in the way. Sorry about that. Anyway, what I was, what I was saying, there's things where historical narratives can, uh, they can be very distorted sometimes, and they can also be a little bit too much in detail. And that's why I love Bill Wright. He makes it simple to read. He makes it easy to read. He make he puts visual, makes he uses visual aid very well in his books. I, uh, he does that especially for because I'm a visual learner. I learn by pictures. And things I see visual. I I don't see um, in writing, except for the grant book. I I was fine with that, but this one I liked because it used a lot of pictures in it that helped me learn about what was going on during the assassination. And so it's a really interesting part of it too, especially now, um, you know, with threats of presidents, and uh, it's very it's very interesting to also to know. That uh, not only does it talk about the assassination, it talks about the, uh, when a uh, John Wilkes Booth escaping, and it shows you how cunning and deceitful this man was, and also shows you the the time when the cavalry, I can't remember what cavalry regiment was, they it talks about also Bill Riley also talks about the um, the manhunt for John Wilkes Booth, which culminates in a little barn in Virginia. I can't remember what the barn was, but they eventually shot and killed him, eventually capturing eventually stopping the assassin, and then eventually arresting all the other assassins who were trying to assassinate, uh, I can't remember the name, Andrew, Andrew Johnson was going to be assassinated by George Atzerodt, and then William Seward, who was Secretary of State, who was bedridden at the time from a carriage accident, I believe it was, uh, was going to be assassinated by a guy named, I was David Payne, I don't remember his name, uh, Stuart Payne, whatever, um, what happened eventually was George Atzerodt got scared, got drunk, and eventually fleed um, uh, the assassination plot to kill Andrew Johnson. Uh, the other man, Payne, went up to Seward's bedroom, and all his family was there, and he eventually started stabbing him repeatedly so many times. But Seward would survive, but they were brutal, brutal wounds to his body. And then David, the, the Payne guy, would actually run out of the place grabbing on a horse, and then, I think it was, I remember the, another uh, book I read is that he, he was screaming out in the streets, I'm mad, I'm mad, um, after committing a, uh, almost attempting to murder the Secretary of State. And it does in a very, very, very dramatic fashion, you guys. And I really suggest that, it's another book I suggest if you want to put in your U.S. history book or Civil War history book, whatever history you want to put it up in. Um, yeah. It's a great book, guys. I give it an A+. Um, I may not agree with Bill O'Reilly's politics at all. As of recent events, I've become more middle-right, middle, middle right, if that makes sense. Um, but I do love it that he he makes history um, simple for people to read. Uh, when sometimes historians and authors can sometimes be too much detailed and the student trying to learn about that history, you know, can't essentially focus and essentially doesn't understand or can empathize with uh, historical figures or events. Um, and I applaud him for that. I really do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, coming up with a video hopefully in the next couple weeks. Again, I'm telling you, I'm not a typical YouTuber. I po I'll post any video when I want. So I'm not going to be doing like a, I'm not going to post on like say this day or that day. So I'm still thinking about it. I'm still trying to get it through. Just need to get it prepared. And I will see, and as always, 
as my new catchphrases. I'll see you later.